Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the rarest vehicles in GTA Online. I'll be excluding any glitched, modded or purchasable vehicle. Anyway, let's get right into it with the first vehicle, the Dock Tug. The Dock Tug can be found around Elysian Island, most commonly around these areas. This vehicle is pretty rare due to its extremely low spawn rate. There's probably a lot of people that don't know this vehicle exists. As you can see, it is quite an odd looking vehicle and it's bound to get some reactions. Anyway, the next vehicle we're going to be taking a look at is the police bike. The police bike can only spawn here between 11.30 and 15.30. You will also need a wanted level for it to spawn. A consistent method I found to work is to go to the store, aim a gun at the cashier and then walk out. You'll be given a two star wanted level. You then need to drive away then drive back again. Most of the time the police bike will spawn. The police bike is a very unique vehicle. If you pair this with a police outfit you could role play as a cop pretty well. Now on to the next vehicle which is the beach tractor. The beach tractor can spawn along this beach. It only spawns between 5 and 12. There is no real method to find this one. The spawn rate seems to be really low, so you'll just need to get lucky. It's not the most interesting vehicle on this list, but it's still pretty rare to see. Next up, we have the mariachi car. The mariachi car will spawn on the mountains near the Ultras camp. You'll need to come to this exact location. Wait here until it is 7pm. When it is 7pm, look towards this mountain. You will see two cop cars along with the mariachi car. You need to quickly shoot the driver and then make your way over towards it. Once you have it, you can actually store it in your garage. What makes this car unique is these items in the back. Anyway, the next vehicles we're taking a look at are the buzzard with no weapons, the police helicopter and the ambulance helicopter. All of these vehicles are pretty similar, so I put them all into the same section. These helicopters are spawned on the roofs of these police stations. Although these helicopters can spawn pretty commonly, not many people know they're up here. On with the next vehicle, which is the FIB car. To get the FIB car, you'll need to start up the VIP job called Hostile Takeover and set it to LSIA. Once you've done that, head over to this hangar. As you can see, it spawns right here. I wouldn't recommend trying to lose your wanted level in this thing, as it can get pretty badly smashed up. Now, on to the next vehicle, which is the Skylift. To get the Skylift, you'll need to call Miss Baker, then press on Request Work. If you're lucky, you'll get the mission called One Armed Bandits. During this mission, you'll need to use a Skylift to pick up a container. Once you have it, just drop it off at the casino. Once you do that, the mission will end and you'll be able to use the skylift for as long as you want. This vehicle is one of the weirdest looking vehicles in the game. There's probably loads of people out there that have never seen this vehicle before. Anyway, on to the next vehicle which is the Lost Slam Van. To get the Lost Slam Van you'll need to be extremely lucky. You'll need to spin the lucky wheel then have it land on Mystery. Once it lands on Mystery you'll have a very low chance of getting it. The overall probability of winning this car is about 0.005% or 1 in 20,000. If you spun every day until you got this car, it will take you 54 years to get the car. By focusing on a sheer chance alone, this is definitely the rarest car in GTA. These next three cars are all from Arena War. The first being the Monkey Blister. You can get this car by being skill level 20 in Arena War, which pretty much means you need to win 210 consecutive matches. It can be pretty easy if you're doing it with a friend. If you're not, however, it can be a lot more challenging. You can also store this car in your garage, making it just a bit extra cooler. This next one's a personal favourite of mine. It is the Space Docker. You can get the Space Docker 
by reaching sponsorship tier level 500. If you use this method that I showed in this video, it should take you 11,910 matches or 11 days of constant grinding. If you think that's a lot, just wait until our final vehicle, which is the Rusty Tractor. To get this tractor, you'll need to be sponsorship tier level 1000. If you use the same method as before, it will take you 48,096 matches or 46.7 days of constant grinding. It's pretty safe to say they won't be seeing any rusty tractors in a free mode session. If there's anyone watching who buys the tractor, please let us know in the comments what made you go through this absolute mammoth of a grind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.